Hi kids, this is Benny. How are you this week? Welcome back to We're Reading Storytime. And this week's theme is going to be rain because we've been seeing an awful lot of rain. So let's go ahead and sing our storytime song. We welcome you to story time, story time, story time. We welcome you to story time. We'll all have lots of fun. Okay, and we're going to do our best to do a good video here. Actually, Miss Nikki made a huge mistake a minute ago. We did all the crafts, and gosh, guess what she did? She put it on photo instead of video. So all we had was a bunch of photos of what was going on. So we're going to start again, and Lizzie's going to be really happy to show our crafts again. Won't she, Lizzie? Yes. Yes, okay. So here we go. Come read the first story about rain. In the rain by Elizabeth Spur. Clouds gather, rain pours. Put on slicker, go outdoors. Water flows, make a boat. Sail in stream, off it floats. Stomp in puddles, splish, splash. Make a mud pie, smush, smash. Sun shines, rain goes. Find more water from the hose. Clouds part, rainbow bends. Make a wish, rain come again. Excellent job. Hi guys, it's Miss Nikki. Um, I'm back here. Lizzie's here helping us with our craft again. Wave Lizzie. Okay. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and make a rainy window. So she's gonna show you, um, because I did make the mistake before of just um, taking photographs instead of videos, Lizzie's gonna show you what we did the last time. So go ahead and hold it up. All right, yes, this is Matthew's room, so. That's what it's going to look like at the end. And what you need for this craft is a cookie sheet. Um, Non-stick is better. Um, liquid watercolor, which we chose teal. And a cup to put it in and a little paintbrush to paint with. Um, and remember from last week, if you want to make your own watercolor, just mix food coloring and water until it's dark enough for you to enjoy it. Um, we need electrical tape to make the window panes and you need scissors to cut the tape. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take all this stuff out of Lizzie's way. Go ahead and hand me the bottle. All right, now Lizzie is gonna go ahead and paint right on the cookie sheet. And you might wanna actually get a cookie sheet that has little ends on it um, that kind of come up so that you don't spill it everywhere, but Lizzie's a little older, so we're pretty sure she can keep the paint on the sheet. So you want to go ahead and spread it on really nicely and see how it beads up the way rain would beat up on your window. Okay. When you've covered a good area of it, you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to take the paper and you're going to press it down. We're going to make it look like it rained and rolled down your window. And Lizzie has liquid food coloring or liquid water paint all over her fingers. So do I. All right, go ahead and pick it up, honey. And go ahead and show it to us. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, so we're going to pull this stuff out of the way. And for the sake of time, I went ahead and cut out the pieces for the tape. So this is a long one. I'll give you the three long ones first and then the short ones. 
And if they're a little too long, that's fine. You can just wrap them around the back. And the good thing about electrical tape is they'll stick when it's a little bit damp. You could also probably cut a piece of black paper and make a frame like that. But um, this is really easy and we have this in our drawer. So I am trying to do a lot of things that you guys will have the materials for at home. And I'm sitting on the floor doing this, so it's a little odd. You might want to flatten your paper. Yeah. You don't want it to be all wonky. The other good thing about electrical tape is it can be removed a little bit and replaced. Okay, you want to wrap those around the back or you want to just go for it, the whole thing? All right, these are the shorter pieces. to go across the middle. Okay. And Matthew's laying out on his bed. That's okay. He's going to be ready to edit it. Okay, go ahead and fold it back and you can go ahead and show us what it's going to look like, honey. It's stuff all over my hands, man. That's okay. It'll come up. It's soapy water. Oops, I'm not even showing it. Now I can see Matthew laying in his bed. Wave to the kids, Matthew. This is what happens when you become 15. Yep. It's really hard to sit up for long periods of time. You have to lay. I don't have any Normal 15 year olds do. You know one minus 15 year olds. Well, that's probably <laughs> against you. <laughs> All right, hold it up for us, honey. And that's what it will look like our rainy day. All right? I hope you guys enjoy the next story. Splish Splash Ducky. Written and illustrated by Lucy Cousins. Hello, I am Ducky Duckling. When I'm feeling happy, I say quack, quack, quack. Oh, goody, hooray! It's raining today. I'm going to find my friends to play. Quack, quack, quack. Drip, drip, drop. I hop with frog. Quack, quack, quack. I like to squirm with wriggly worm. Quack, quack, quack. A hug for bug and a hug for slug. Quack, quack, quack into the pond to play with the swans. Quack, quack, quack. Splash, splish, I swim with fish. Quack, quack, quack. We shake our feathers in the rainy weather. Quack, quack, quack. Drip, drop, plip, plop. Rain is funny on your tummy. Quack, quack, quack. Squeak, squeak, hide and seek. Quack, quack, quack. Oh no, the rain has stopped. No more drips, no more drops. No more quacking, I'm feeling sad. I think I'll go to see my dad. Cheer up, ducky, here comes the sun. Look at the butterflies having fun. We'll quack together, whatever the weather. Hop on my back and... Quack, quack, quack. The end. Okay, our second activity is we're going to make a cloud and we're going to make it rain. So what you need for this is a clear cup or glass with water in it, food coloring, and shaving cream. And the shaving cream is going to be our cloud and the food coloring is going to be our rain. So Lizzie, go ahead and shake it up and then make yourself a little cloud on the top. 
Okay. Now, remember, you can put as much shaving cream as you want, but the more shaving cream you put on, the longer it's going to take to rain. So go ahead and pick out your colors here. Um, when we did it before, I made my mistake and just did photos. Um, Lizzie had nice neon ones, but unfortunately, we use most of those. So she's just going to use the regular colors. So she's sprinkling a little blue in, and you can mix and match the colors. We can see what happens when it lands in the cup. Um, just put a bunch of squirts on there. She's got red, she's got blue. And what happens when the red and blue mix, Lizzie? Purple. Purple. And then she's going to put yellow on there, and the red and the yellow will make orange, and the red and the, or the yellow and the blue will make green. But sometimes if they mix up too closely, you'll start to get some browns, as you can see. But that's okay. So we're just going to watch this. Look, it's already happening. It's raining. And it all mixed together, so ours is... <laughs> it's like toxic. It's... <laughs> Oh no, okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. Hey, this is how it rains. So what happens is your clouds, they get together and once they get too many raindrops up in there, they have to come out because they get too heavy. And that's what we have here. Okay guys, well that's rear reading story time for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time. Um, if it gets warm enough, maybe you can play in the rain a little bit. I know some of you guys have awesome rain boots. Oh, hi Dizzy. Okay. Well, I hope to see you all next week. Bye-bye.